Welcome to our tutorial on how to use our patient portal. We're happy to have you as a patient and we want to show you what our portal can do. You can send and receive messages from our office. You can look at your appointments or request new ones. You can look at your medicines or ask for refills. Look at your lab results as soon as we get them. Receive reminders on your appointments or check your statement. Let's get started. Let's go to the website, enter the username and password we gave you and are ready to go. Okay, now let's sign in. We'll type in our username and password, then click on sign in. We're already in the portal. Let's take a little look around. Let's look at the menu items here on the left. These are where most of the major actions are. Then in the center, we have some information that changes from time to time that may give you some additional information about our site. For instance, information on the lab normals. Want to change your password? Instead of signing in, click Change Password. We'll type in your username here without signing in and type in your old password. Give yourself a new password with at least six characters, then click the Submit key and you're ready to go. Ready to send a message to us? Click up here, Add, Ask Nurse or Front Office. You'll see this box that says Compose New Message. Let's tell the office first what we're going to be asking about. Let's say it's a question on your statement. So we'll type in statement question. And we'll put in the question in the main part of the box. Like, hello, I don't see the payment from Blue Cross on my statement. You simply then go down when you're done, click on the send button. You'll get a little confirmation. Click OK. Let's see what our office finds. This is the screen that we get. It shows us all your information and your message. So Stephanie, for instance, will read your message. She'll start a reply. She'll route it to the right person. And once we send the reply to you, you will receive an email saying that you have a message in your message box on our portal. You'll need to log in in order to see this message so that everything stays confidential. Now let's look at a lab. We'll click on this lab request. Let's drag the window up. and Here's a whole list of labs. This is the, all the labs we've had this year. And there are some notes from the office here on the right that tells you kind of some things about the results. Let's choose one. Let's look at this hemoglobin A1C. And there's my result of my hemoglobin A1C with the reference range telling us what the normal is. And the office has typed in the note that the A1C is much higher. Well, let's look at some of the other labs. We can just hit the back button and hit uh, the comprehensive metabolic profile and here are all those tests including my liver, kidney, blood sugar, sodium, potassium, etc. Oh, the potassium's a little low and the office has noted that for me. Let's look at the appointments now. I already have an appointment scheduled. Let's see when that is. I'll click current appointment. Let me move the window up and there's the appointment that I already have. It tells me it's on February 29th at 9.45 and reminds me to bring in my glucose meter and medicine so we can look at them. But let's make a new appointment. We'll click on new appointment and we need to make a few choices here. First we need to tell it what date range you want the appointment to be. Well, let's say I want it somewhere between the 18th and the 25th and it's with Dr. Dodson. I choose it from the drop-down list. I want it on Monday or Wednesday because that fits my schedule best. And I either want it at 9 o'clock or let's say 2 in the afternoon. And let's say why I need this appointment so that'll help us prioritize it for you. And then once I've typed in that information, once again I just click send and we get the message here in our office. Now let's look at our prescriptions. We'll click Refill Requests, and here are all the prescriptions that we have on file. They're their names, strength, how often we take them, and how many refills. PRN means refillable for a year. Let's say I want a refill on the Lipitor and Acupril. I'll click those two boxes, then click the Request button. This generates a request for our office, but let's check the pharmacy. We're going to send this to the pharmacy that you request, so let's change this, say, to Ketchings. We'll type in the first part of that, click Lookup. I'll click on Catchings. Now it's going to go to Catchings. I'll type in any changes I want, and when I'm done, click Send. Finally, let's look at the statements. We have our choice of current statements or past statements. Here's a current statement. 
This is the one that you received most recently in the mail. We can look at the exact line items, print it out and include it with a payment, or keep it for our tax records. If we want to look at an old statement, we simply go back, click on past statements, and it'll have all the statements that we've generated for you since we went electronic. We'll click on this old statement here, and again, this allows us to print it out or simply look at it. Thanks again for watching our portal tutorial. We appreciate you being a patient of Amarillo Medical Specialists. Stay healthy. This is Dr. William Biggs.